Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, I, one of the biggest news, I think, today that comes from the Microsoft Build conference is something that we never thought would happen. When the Windows subsystem for Linux came to be in 2016, nine years ago, what was asked was that it become open source. And of course, back in the day, it was not because it was too much integrated within Windows. And over time, they have slowly fixed that problem. Even though there are a few modules that are still secret because they are Windows um, too integrated into Windows, uh, they announced today that the Windows subsystem for Linux is now open source and that they have released the source code on GitHub for developers. And this is a huge, huge step forward. I mean, in a world where we never would think that Microsoft would open up this much, uh, first of all, open up to integrate a Linux capability within Windows 10 at first and 11 now. Um, and uh, it made me actually install the Windows subsystem for Linux, which I had not um, played with for a while. Uh, and you can even have some graphic user interface apps if you want. Uh, there's instructions on how to do that here, for example, how you can get more uh, apps that have graphical user interface. Uh, they give you examples here of uh, G-Edit, which is a text editor, Audacity for uh, audio recording and, and manipulation of audio files, uh, GIMP, which is an equivalent to Photoshop, for example, even VLC video player. So and and of course there's uh, more than can be done. So uh, it's very interesting uh, that they've finally decided to open source. I mean this is something we never thought Microsoft would do. Just like nine years ago, we never thought Microsoft would embrace that there could be a Linux uh, part uh, within Windows. So uh, this is probably the biggest news today. Uh, for those that are developers or uh, anybody that does use this, uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux for um, all sorts of reasons, uh, what do you think about the open sourcing of the WSL now in uh, in in Windows? Um, I think it's it's a nice uh, and interesting way of of Microsoft to open up uh, to to developers and to a lot of. Uh, uh, of other things maybe in the future. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.